Last minute bit of advice and Midori Ito takes the ice. We have here at Trofila Leak two of the three top contenders for the gold medal in Alberville. Right now they're fighting for first place at Trofila Leak. And if you've never seen Midori Ito skate, you've really missed something special. She is an awesome jumper. Her first combination of moves, last year at the World Championships, she ended up in the camera pit. She's moved it away from the wall now. Triple Lutz into Triple Toe Loop, a very difficult combination. Look at the height, Triple Lutz, Triple Toe Loop, and she does it beautifully. She was the first woman in the world to land the triple axle in competition. That's the next jump she's had planned, but I did not see her warm it up. Three and a half revolutions in the air. Look at the height and distance she covers on this. Incredible triple lutz, a triple axle double toe loop combination. Well, Christy Yamaguchi is walking, watching backstage, and I'm sure that back in the States, Tanya Harding is watching this with interest. Because Midori is such an incredible jumper, a lot of people have really knocked her artistic ability and her choreography. She's really worked hard on it. This program really seems to suit her. Triple flip, first right here, triple flip, as she doubles it, her toe slipped out of the ice. She originally planned to do triple flip, triple toe, it shouldn't hurt her. Triple sow cow, nicely done. seconds of Midori Ito's performance in the free skate. Keep in mind that Christy Yamaguchi did not skate a flawless performance. And Christy Yamaguchi has come into the warm-up area to watch this performance of one of her chief rivals. Another triple lutz. She starts, nope, she decided to triple flip instead. I guess she figured she didn't have one of those in the program, so she's gonna take the triple lutz out and replace it with a triple flip. problem I can see with this program is Midori is an explosive speed skater. Triple loop single, that's a serious mistake. And the artistic impression she's put into this program I think has watered down her awesome jumping ability. She throws another triple loop in, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I call intestinal fortitude. If you miss it, throw it in. If you miss another one, throw another one in. Will it be enough to oust Christy Yamaguchi, the 1989 world champion, Midori Ito from Nagoya, Japan? She finished second to Jill Trenery in 1990 at the Worlds and then the disastrous fourth in 91 at Munich.
Now look at the distance, height, and speed of this triple lutz into triple toe. Watch this triple lutz, huge. And she reaches back and does a beautiful triple toe loop. She was the first woman in the world to land this. Forward takeoff, three and a half revolutions, triple axle. Look at the height on this thing. It just goes enormous. And it just pops off an easy double toe loop. Another look at that, the triple loop that she singled at the end. Now watch, it's an instant reaction. You have no choice here. Your body knows it's not gonna happen and it just opens up. But she turned around about 20 seconds later and did a triple loop, replaced it. Shouldn't affect her scoring at all. Yamaguchi is first, Ito is waiting. So is Christy for that matter. Now here are the marks and oh. look at there. Well, I guess the Italian judge didn't see the popped triple loop, but I guess maybe she thought it was meant to be a single. 6.0 for technical merit. Unbelievable. Five nines. It's hard to compare any other woman in the world to Midori Ito. I think the only one on a great night would be Tanya Harding. She's an awesome jumper. She's revolutionized the sport of ladies figure skating. Christy Yamaguchi saw that six and uh, walked back toward the ladies dressing room. She's not even waiting for the artistic impression marks. Here they are. And you can see where the judges have really rewarded Midori for trying to fix her artistic ability. She beats Christy Yamaguchi seven judges to two. There is the ladies' champion at Trophy La Ligue in the first competition held where the Olympic gold medal battle will take place. And Midori Ito comes on the ice. I don't think this is a curtain call. I think she's looking for an earring. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Found it. <laughs> I thought we were breaking tradition there for a moment. 22-year-old Midori Ito. She wins the title, and Christy Yamaguchi of the United States is second. Nancy Kerrigan of the U.S. takes home the bronze. Tracy Wilson is standing by backstage with Christy Yamaguchi. Christy, in the early competitions this year, you've had two second-place finishes, first to Tanya Harding and now to Midori Ito. Is it going to be hard to pick yourself up, and what changes are you going to make? Uh, I definitely don't think it'll put me down because I was very happy with my program today and you know the other girls are doing more jumps than I am so uh, I have to just do what I can and just be happy with I can, what, what I can do. Until now 1991 has been a very difficult year for Midori Ito. Remember she said the goddess of luck has turned her back on me. Perhaps not anymore. A salute to the champion. And Vern will talk to the